before you put the frame together, you can you can do your first sanding. Um, sometimes sometimes the pieces of wood are a little rough, and it's easier to sand them uh, when they're apart uh, before you glue them together. So you, either way, you're going to be doing some sanding though. And so you just when it's nice and flat like this, you can just take your paper and and then you don't have many obstructions, and you can just like start to get a lot of the major scratches out of it. You'll want to sand it again later when it's all together, too. But this is a this is a good start to bring in that bring in that roughness off the wood. So here we are um, with the first step, and you, you have your three pieces of wood here that, that's going to make up the harp frame, and you want to see that <clears throat> that these two pieces are going to lock together like this, and that's going to that's going to make where the the pillar meets the meets the neck, and so that's going to be the first thing that we're going to screw here, and we're always going to use some glue too. Um, so we have some wood glue here, and you put it on the wood and you get messy with your fingers to spread it out. And when you're spreading it, you want to make sure that you're, you have ample glue in this, against these joints so that it's going to help to be able to just really, really bring the wood together in that joint. So you can put some there, and you're going to put some along this row here. And just, just spread that glue around. And then you're going to fit it into this piece, like so. And you'll see glue will ooze, and that's a good sign. Very good sign. Where the, the glue will ooze out of uh, of this crack here, and you just want to you just want to just rub, get some of the, as much of the loose glue as you can before you're ready to clamp it and screw the screws in. And then when you get that, you're gonna take your first screw and you're gonna put it in there. And you're gonna tighten it down, and it's always a very very good sign when you're tightening it down, and more glue just oozes out. That's just that's telling you you've you've really put a good a good fill in there because. It's going to really hold the harp frame together, this glue and the screws. And you just go around and tighten them, and you can see, see how more glue oozed out. So you're just going to go back and wipe that off again. And then flip it over and see what you got here. More glue on this side too. That's a good joint there. So after that, after that's glued, your next section is going to be to glue the frame <coughs> to, the, to the string rib. This is the string rib. And uh, the top of it, the notch at the top, is going to be going to the, to the top of the, the harp here. And if it was laying flat on the table, it would, it would go like that, if you see that in that picture. And um, So you're going to put the harp up like this, and you're going to put some glue. Another trick is when you're gluing it, make sure you put some on the side here, because um, that, that, that tongue there is going to be gluing onto that. So it's good to have glue there to grab that. Some glue there. Some glue down here in this joint. When you've got that spread around, come back here, up here and just touch a little more. And get the glue off your fingers. And then you can take this and the, the top joint here is going to go like that. And then you're going to take these screws again you shouldn't have too much of a tough time putting in the screw because I pre-drilled them all for you and they've been fitted but you still want to just turn it you just about can't turn it anymore. 
And then you want to go on down to this one down here and do the same. Now that you've put the, uh, the rib on, it's, it's flush. It's flush on this side and on this side you're going to have this notch. So if you were holding it this way, which you would be holding the harp to play it, this notch needs to be on the left and flush on the right side. And we got some glue ooze again. So it's always good to just go back, wipe up that excess glue rather than let it get all over everything. 